Hey everybody, this is Keith Kay and welcome to another beautiful South Pacific morning. Today we're playing Stranded Deep and I've got a new water tutorial to share with you. I haven't played this game in quite a while and uh, the water uh, mechanics have changed quite a bit. And as you know, uh, when you start playing this game, hydration is one of your biggest challenges early on until you can um, come up with some ways to store some water and uh, produce it on a regular basis. So the first thing getting started is to keep track of your status and you can do that by pressing the F key to get to your watch and then you press your left mouse button to see your status and here we've got uh, health, food, and water, and lastly sleep and you can see that I need uh, I need food and water but I need a lot of water here. There's uh, I think five pips that I need to fill up there. So early in the game uh, there's a couple ways that you can get water. The first one is uh, coconuts and I've got a coconut here uh, you'll find coconuts in these palm trees that you find all over the island. And you can just come up to one and look and see. You'll see the coconuts that are up here. Um, I've actually picked all the coconuts on this island because I do want to see if they respawn or not uh, anymore. Um, but you can pick the coconuts. You can actually store them. I, I keep them over here. Um, and they'll keep. They won't go bad like other things, which I'll talk about in just a second. So once you have your coconut on the ground, uh, you know if you picked it, it's going to be in your inventory, and you can you can just select it by pressing the tab key, and then press Q to drop it. And then you want to get your refined knife, and all you're going to do is hit it one time, and then you can pick it up. It says drinkable coconut. As you see, drinkable coconut can replenish thirst or be broken into pieces. And actually, you're going to want to do both. Don't waste it. So first you select it. And let's just look at my uh, down to one uh, water pip. So we'll go ahead and drink that using the left mouse button. And now we can see I got one pip. But, oh, sorry, two. I got one extra on top of the one I had that's two. So, and now it won't do anything. Um, it's not good for nothing. You actually can uh, drop it and split it and then eat it. Uh, I won't do that now, but you can select them and eat them. Uh, reason being, we're going we're gonna to go to our next way of getting water, which is uh, the uh, kiwawa fruit. And you'll find these trees on some islands with fruit on them. Um, not every island will have them, and when you find them, you're going to want to make sure that you have at least a need for one food and one water. Um, and they're not something that's good to transport around. They will spoil and then they're no good to you. Um, I always keep track of the first island I find it on. Uh, and then as you can see here, I built some farming plots, which I've covered in my farming tutorial, which I'll link to uh, down below. But I keep the first one and then I, I plant it so that I have a replenishable source of food. But when you find one of these, especially if you're really desperate for water and food, you can go ahead and pick it. And again, you can see I need three food and five water. So I go ahead and eat this with my left mouse button. And now you can see I've gotten one food and one water out of that. All well and good, but we need a replenishable source of water and we need to be able to store water as well and carry it around. So even though the buckets are gone, uh, the solar still is actually pretty easy to build and all you need are a lashing, which you learned how to make in the tutorial if you did that, a tarp, which are very plentiful. You can find those all over the place uh, on, the, on these islands. And then rocks, which you can also find um, scattered about. And now there's also mineable rock that looks like this. Uh, you just need a ax. All right, so when you have these resources, all you're going to do is go to your crafting menu. You actually can hold down C. I like this quick craft. It'll show you what's actually available. Uh, the other way to get to it is just to press C instead of holding it down, and then it's under structures. And if you scroll down to solar still, you can see you need one lashing, which we have two. I think I have one in my inventory. One tarp panel and three rocks, which we have. And then you can just click it, find a spot for it, and I won't do that because I have one. You just find a spot for it. You can use Q and E to rotate it um, if you want to organize a certain way. And then you're good to go. So once you have your solar still built, uh, you can see that it's full of water. But how do I get it out of here into my mouth? Well, let's go back to our empty drinkable coconut. We can actually 
retrieve one drink from here. So you can see it took down a bit. That's actually a fifth. The solar still will have five um, drinks of water available when it's full. And then we can drink it. And you can repeat the process over and over again until you get the water that you need. I am starting to sunburn, but that's okay. So uh, that's one way. The other way, let's find some shade. The other way to get some water uh, out of the solar still is to use either a leather water skin, and the leather water skin will hold three uh, drinks of water at a time. You can see it says food servings three. And the challenge with the uh, leather water skin is simply that leather isn't actually abundant. It's renewable. Um, you just need some rawhide, which you can get either from hunting um, uh, wild boars, uh, which I have a video for hunting uh, that I'll link to, or you can actually um, you can hunt tiger sharks. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, the the other way you can get leather is you can make sure that you check all the shipwrecks that you come across because that's how I found the leather uh, that I needed to make the um, the leather water skin. And if you scroll all the way down, so the water skin here requires two leather, one stick, and the tanning rack, which we have back here. Uh, okay, and so then you just you just drink from it like you did from the coconut. So there's one, and you can see my water went up a little bit, and let's just show you that now it says two food servings, actually two drinks, that I can go two and three. Uh, almost got my water where it needs to be. And we can see that it's got, it's empty, it's got zero drinks left. The third way uh, that you can store water is the clay water bottle. Uh, this is a little more involved. Um, it does require uh, a bit of uh, resource gathering, grinding. You need to have a furnace. Uh, you don't need the brick station yet, but you need to build the furnace. And to build the furnace, you need clay. Clay looks like uh, these rocks here, but it's underwater. And uh, here's a picture of one underwater that you can uh, look for and mine with axes. But once you've got the clay, you then build your furnace under structures. You can see you need two lashings, three sticks, and you need six items of clay. So that can take a little while um, to gather, but once you've got it, you just go down here and you can see you need the furnace, two clay, and one lashing, and you can produce your clay water bottle. And while it is resource intense and while it takes some time uh, to get to the point where you can craft it, what the benefit is is that you get five drinks of water. So you can actually carry this with you um, as you go from island to island and not have to run around picking coconuts. You can, certainly. Um, and, it, and, you know, this works the same way. Now let's see, right now I need two drinks of water. So we'll go one, two, you can see I'm full here, and now it's three drinks of water left. And the other thing about the clay water bottle is it will take all five of these. This won't right now because I only needed, I only had two drinks um, to top it off, but you can see how that works. And so that's pretty much it for the water tutorial. If uh, anybody has questions, um, or other ideas on how to gather water, please leave some comments. I love to um, read the feedback. I take it seriously. It's, it's helped me do a better job at uh, tutorial work. And if you want to see more of these, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you again soon. Have a good one.